boat and my uh, geography teacher. She came to the classroom and said, well, geography is very important. Because she said, this morning I was in the West Lake in Hangzhou and met some Westerners. And she said, I asked, where are you from? And they said, some nation. She said, I don't know. So they draw a map. They say, now I know because the, from the map, I know where they're from. So she told us the story. And I say, hmm, very interesting. If I can communicate with the Westerners about, about the, uh, the world, it will be quite interesting. For nine years, every morning, almost with the snow, rain, sun, I went there uh, looking for foreign tourists to become the free guide, and I made a lot of friends. This trained me the way of think, different from the other kids in China in my generation. Because everything I learned from the, the, the tourists, foreign tourists, are so different from the things I learned from the, my, from the schools, my parents, because we thought China was like that, the world was like that, in our books, you know. But the thing that I learned from outside, they're, they're so different. So that trained my way of thinking different. When people talk about everything, when everything people agree, normally I take one minute to think about, is that true? When everything disagree, I say, take about one minute, think about it, hmm, is that true? So that was a training. Since there's no way to learn English at that time, there's no teachers in our city who can teach people to speak English. So I listened to the BBC and Voice of America. And there, every evening, 9 o'clock, uh, 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock, I open my video you know, from the, the first uh, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I listen to the uh, VOA. The first book I heard about is the, the adventure of Tom Sawyer's. Talked about um, the different constituencies you have at Alibaba, and you always say, number one, customer, customer. number two, employees, employees, number three, shareholders. You got a lot more shareholders today. Is that going to change at all in any way, the way you view your business or run your business? Well, I think, Stu, as I always do, I believe that customer number one, employee number two, and shareholder number three. But uh, today, what we got is not the money. What we got is the trust from the people. Millions of sh small business, so many shareholders. I'm very honored and so excited because when you see these shareholders, you know, it's the responsibility. I've been thinking about the uh, next uh, five and 10 years, how I can make sure these shareholders be happy. But the very important things make these guys people standing there, if they are successful, we all be happy. That's what I believe. Um, something else you will have a lot of today is money. Mm -hmm. uh, 15 billion or more raised by the company, not to mention a currency, which we're going to watch open here in probably a couple of hours, that you conceivably can use. Yeah. How do you view that strategically for Alibaba? Uh, are you going to be buying a lot of things potentially outside of China? Give us some sense here in terms of your thoughts, now that you'll have an awful lot of money at your disposal, and of course a stock price that conceivably is going to be very highly valued. Well, I think to me as an entrepreneur, you know, the instinct of entrepreneur is try to build things yourself. And I think there are so many things we have to do with our ecosystem. Not only we are helping small business in China, I think small business in Africa, in Southeast Asia, in Europe, in the States, a lot of farmers need help. So I think the money will be spent there. The technology we want to, if we want to acquire, we want to acquire, this, acquire and buy these companies, can help the ecosystem that can help the small business. Can you walk us through where your head is on the pricing? Is this where you wanted it? Why didn't you go higher? A lot of people said it's worth more and will be worth more today. I, uh, I think that's the bank's decision. That's my CFO's decision, my team decision. And to me, I just to give them that I don't want, I don't want the, the you know, disappointed shareholders. I want to make sure they make money. And I'm sure, and I really want to tell the team that Shareholder number three, that's not a mean, it's the discrimination. We respect, we are very thankful from heart. But the thing we do better is that when we really care about it, 
the customers. You really make those innovative young people successful. The shareholders will be happy. So to me, the price up and down, you know, that's the my people worry about. I worry about whether the customer happy. Jack, that's always. Let me ask you. Uh, this is a great American story. That's actually a Chinese story. I wonder who who were your heroes. Who are my heroes? Yes. Well, I got my story, my dream from America to four, 15 years ago when I came to America, when I visited Silicon Valley. I saw Sunday in the evening, the, the, the road was full of cars, all the buildings with lights. That's the passion. And I, when I, uh, the, the hero I had is Forrest Gump. <laughs> 14 years ago, when I watched Box of the chocolates? Yeah, you know I, he's a fictional character, I, I though. Really you did like that guy. I've been watching that movie for about uh, 10 times. <laughs> Every time when I'm frustrated, I watch the movie. And I watched movie before I came here again. For you, movie. Millie? Yeah, for, the, for, for coming to the New York. I, because I, want, I watched the movie again and telling me that no matter whatever changed, you are you. And I'm still the guy 15 years ago. You know, I only earn like twenty dollars a month, and today I can do that much. You know, it's what, order. What does it mean for the People's Republic of China? I think we were giving a lot of people inspiration. We want to encourage a lot of people say yes, because one of the things I want to do. Fifteen years ago, I told my people in my apartment that if Jack Ma and if people like us can be successful. 80% of the people in China can be successful, and 80% of the young people in the world can be successful. We do not have the rich daddy, powerful uncle. We do from nothing. So that's what we want to use on China. What would you say to an American investor who is really interested in your company and the growth opportunity, but worries about interference from the government, transparency, books, regulators we don't understand? How do we get around all of that? Trust. Trust us, trust the market, and trust the young people, and trust the new technology. And the world is getting more transparent. Everything you worry about, I've been worried about in the past 15 years. Everything you worry about, I've been gone through these tough 15 years. That's not easy, and we are ready to work for another 87 years. So I want to tell the uh, investors, we take care of them. That trust has to be earned, of yeah, course. Because when you trust, everything is simple. If you don't trust, uh, things get complicated. Uh, and so when uh, we talk about transparency and people look at the Alipay transaction, which got a great deal of publicity at that time and certainly was not something Yahoo was happy about, how should we view that? Well, someday, someday people will find out. And today is not time. And I would say I have 25,000 smart people. If I do anything wrong, I'm transparent, I'll put that company into my pocket. And why I've been keep on telling mission and vision and value for 15 years. People would leave us. And we are making sure the ecosystem, somebody has to make tough decisions. As a CEO, you're balancing, and I'm doing that. And I want to say, someday. Time not ready, but they, when they people realize, when people know the real story, they will feel proud. Okay, well, feel free to come back and tell it to yeah, us when you're I, ready. I feel proud. I would just say one thing. The decision for Alipay was most, one of the most painful decisions I have ever made in my past 15 years business career. But this is the decision I feel most proud of in the past 15 years. That is courage. That's called courage, responsibility, and leadership. Somebody has to make the tough decision. Right. And I did it. Uh, Jack, when I spoke to investors who met with your team uh, as they investigated the company, all of them came out saying, of course, we're going to want to own a lot of shares, but they still had other questions that didn't get answered. Yeah. For example, your logistics business. You own 48% of a logistics business that is enormous, uh, yet it's not consolidated at all on your income statement. Some people worry, well, will a day come when that has to come on board, and what will that mean? Uh, for what we're looking at in terms of the numbers at Alibaba. Okay, the good thing is because the logistics system is not good in China. That gives us opportunity. If it's already come very sophisticated, then why would they need us? One of the reasons why e-commerce in China grow faster than the USA, because the infrastructure of commerce in China was too bad. In the USA, e-commerce could not do better because, you know, it's a supplementary. I said, 
e-commerce in the U.S. is a dessert, and in China become a main course. And logistic, we are talking about the 27 million packages in China totally every day. But what we will see in 10 years will be 200 million packages every day. So we have to solve that problem, not today's problem. 200 million, million packages, which I think in 10 years. Jack, I think there's a misperception also. I think people say, well, it's Amazon, but if I have an idea for a company, I have a product. I know I can go to your site and I can find someone in the world who will manufacture my product for far less. Talk about the idea that this is maybe the great entrepreneurship site of all time. Exactly. This is what we are doing. We want our mission is helping doing business easier. So we were giving not only traffic, we give technology, we give logistics, we give trust record, we also give the, the financial service for small medium size. They don't worry about that because when I was doing my business 15 years ago, nobody supported us. So today we want to build up this infrastructure that anybody, if you have ideas, come to our site, working hard, everybody is a fair play game. But you also care about making sure that there's no slave labor involved. You know, talk about that because that's important. Because I don't want to communicate with someone where I end up in a, play, a factory that collapses. Now we have a strict rules to see that, and also you know intellectual properties and copycats and fake products. These are headaches of the world, and we are solving that. And the thing is, that's not bad. The slave, uh, you see, 49 percent of the power sellers on our side are women. You know, the women entrepreneurs coming up. And a this lot is of the thing. customers today were female. Yeah, we, we would not unpurposely uh, select, you know, five, about eight, five of the women. I mean, we still feel so proud. Uh, here's an obvious question. Yep. Are there American companies on your shopping list, and what, which ones are them? Well, I, uh, I think uh, there are a lot of American companies I would like to learn from. Whether they will sell, we can buy, or we can work together, that's not important. Important is that if we can work together, helping small guys, I would do anything. But if yeah. they think about it, making money, well, you know, we can allow them. But helping small business, making sure the ecosystem is healthy for the, for the small business, we would do anything. Jeff, where's China right now? The PRC has been cl cutting the repo rate last night. They've been doing these big bank injections. Where is the? Uh, we have an impression that China is slowing. But is that just the export market? Is the is, is the consumer doing better in China than we realize? Oh, absolutely. And we are helping that. This is a, the power of Taobao, the power of Alibaba. The 300 billion sales every year. So we want to go to countryside and making sure they grow. Jack, uh, $300 billion in gross merchandise value, how big can Alibaba become? Well, we have a dream, which probably I'm not about to say, but I think um, we value that uh, the China changed because of us in the past 15 years. And we hope in the next 15 years, the world changed because of us. We want to be bigger than Walmart. We want to be bigger. It's not about the size. We want to learn from Walmart. They changed the business last century. They stressed the B2C. And we hope 15 years later, they say, this is the company like Microsoft, like IBM, like Walmart. They changed, shaped the world. We, we have to let you go, but before we do, you're worth now, or will be, more than the GDP of Estonia. What are you going to do with that money? Oh, uh, what are the main things? Still focusing on our mission. I mean, the. But the your own personal wealth. For me? Yes. Well, this is a headache thing. I guess I'm going to spend. Uh, I, uh, when I was, uh, I think, 14 years ago, I asked my, my wife, do you want your husband to be a rich man or a, a respect a business guy? She said, of course, I respect a business person because she never thought I would be a rich person. Because <laughs> we were we were having fun doing it. So today, I think, and then later I said, when I'm 50, before I'm 50 years old, my job is making money, helping other people making money. After I'm 50 years old, which is today 50 years old, I was spending money trying to making sure more people get rich. Because you cannot spend a lot of money, right? So my job is that spending money. Helping others. Uh, this is uh, this is a headache.
Jack Ma, thank you. Uh, we will be following the opening, of course, of Alibaba. Uh, and very by the soon. way, what's in the box? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is our T-shirt, the souvenir for Alibaba listing. And we say in the Burger Fagani, everybody should have a dream. And the bet is, what if it realized? Because people don't believe in dreams anymore, a lot of young people. And we want to tell them, it's the dreams that you have to keep. And we want everybody have this dream. And I want to give this as a gift to Thank you. you so Thank, you. Thank, we'll you, Thank you so much. Thank you. People are Thank making uh, jokes on Twitter about Forrest Gump. They say Lieutenant Dan on line one. <laughs> Thank you. Jack Ma, the chairman of uh, the Alibaba Group, thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you. Uh